Hi there everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. I have a DIY IKEA hack for you. So using uh, cooling racks and also this jumbo pencil organizer and letter divider from the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned as I create this. This is partially inspired by IKEA and it's sort of a hack and it's also inspired by cruising with crystal i will be linking her down below she showed the video utilizing the racks as well so anyway what i'm going to be doing here is that i am just prepping out one of the cooling racks and i'm just showing you here the jumbo uh, cup pencil organizer that i got from the dollar tree of course that's a dollar each for the organizer for the pens and then the cooling rack it comes in two in a pack now anyway what I'm doing here is I cut twist ties okay so you can use zip ties if you want to but these twist ties are just going to be some sort of a guide so that when I use my glue gun as well as my E6000 at least it's not going to roll so what I'm going to be doing is on one of the two racks again they come in two in a pack from the Dollar Tree see see what I mean about rolling I'm going to be using three of these jumbo pencil or pen holders and they come also in black and I believe even white and not only at the Dollar Tree they also sell them at the 99 only uh, 99 cents only stores just in case you're buying them so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to test out where I'm going to put them. And if you've noticed, uh, you know, this angle here is I'm just trying a different angle in taping or filming my DIYs because some folks have mentioned that sometimes they cannot see what I'm doing if I'm filming on the top. So I'm trying this one, filming it at an angle on my right side. So hopefully I am showing you more and it's more visible for you. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to do the seams that's where i'm going to be inserting the twist tie inserting it here now i am just going to place one at the center where there's that perpendicular or that vertical wire as you could see it's divided it's the middle or the center of that cooling rack okay so just make sure that it's at the center and you're just using the seams at the back so that it's not at the front so I'm going to be dabbing some glue here and just be generous with it so that it will attach quicker so that's how much glue I'm using and I am going to be sticking it at the center or the middle part of this rack so as you could see I'm using it upside down the feet of the cooling rack uh, will be facing front so now that I put in the glue connected it or attach it with glue I'm also twisting the twist tie here at the center and don't worry too much about the glue that you're using at the back because they will not show up in the front now here's my E6000 which is a stronger bond I will be using this to anchor it or connect it better for a more permanent um, you know bonding so I am putting that on top so it depends some folks use E6000 first and I'm gonna be showing you that later on you can use E6000 first and then apply hot glue or you can do hot glue first then apply E6000 over it so you can do that as well so here it is and then I am going to be putting it in three separate locations here so I'm here I'm showing you when I'm using the E6000 first and then I'm going to be adding uh, you know glue gun my hot glue actually the glue gun I'm not adding the glue gun I'm using a glue gun <laughs> to heat up the glue stick and attaching hot glue okay as you can see again the bottom feet of my cooling rack is at the front part because I want that to be the place where I can anchor it on the wall so that it can sit comfortably 
onto the carpenter nails. So I'm leaning it forward as it dries and then I'm going to be attaching the other two cups, one on the left and one on the right. I'm using the middle cup as a guide for my other two cups. So I'm starting with this one on the right side and then I am going to be inserting the twist ties through it. Make sure that you are lining it up to the position, the correct position that it lines up with the center cup because unlike the center cup, the two cups will not have that perpendicular grid or part of that rack to guide it. So I'm just counting it from the bottom and I think it's the sixth horizontal um, rack, part of the rack. I'm going to be applying the hot glue again, so I'm kind of removing it first just to make sure it's easier for me to do it. And I'll be generous with the hot glue. And then I am going to be lining it up the correct positioning here as I count the number of uh, rack. So it's around on the sixth position here. And then tying the twist tie as tight as I could without getting burned because hot glue is hot. <laughs> so just be careful guys when you're doing this. As you could see I am struggling a little bit here but just make sure that you uh, don't hurt yourself. So yeah. Now I am going to be adding my E6000 again in that position there to make sure that it's secure. I guess it depends if you think that the hot glue is going to be enough then that's fine but to be more secure you really need E6000 or Gorilla Glue. If you have super glue that helps as well to bond. So I'm just fast forwarding here and I'm repeating the same steps on the other side. Now for the second one I am going to be using this letter divider to create a wall kind of like an inbox, outbox, or incoming outgoing mail or file. So instead of it occupying the top of the desk, kind of like those trays that you get from an office supply store or even the Dollar Tree sells them as well that they eat up so much space on top of your counter you can do it this way so by attaching this letter divider onto one of the cooling racks I am going to be creating a filing system for folders or letters or bills or whatnot so I'm using again my hot glue gun and if you notice the rack, this time I am using it right side up with the feet, the four feet of the cooling rack uh, at the bottom. The reason why I'm doing this is because I am just going to be hooking up the carpenter nails that way. I could do the same way the other one uh, that I've done with the other one, but I've decided to do it the opposite way here just to show you which that it would work well as well and I am trying to prevent those feet from blocking the folders that I may be filing you know bigger folders like the size of a printing paper now I am going to be reinforcing again using my E6000 if you've noticed I didn't use a zip tie or a twist tie on this um, setup 
because there are solid frames from the letter divider that can sit under the rack or the wires themselves. So the glue gun, the hot glue, and along with the E6000 will be just enough to reinforce it. And here's the finished product for that second project for our filing system that you can hang on the wall. Here are the finished two projects that didn't even cost us $5 because that letter divider there on the left that I used uh, is from the 99 cents only store. Of course, that's available from the Dollar Tree as well. Uh, those cooling racks are two for a dollar and those cups are just a dollar each so total five and then I added that arrow there just so that it's not too bare on the top that's also a dollar from the Dollar Tree that's optional of course if you don't like that style you don't have to buy the same thing I'm just giving you an idea here on how I decorated this spot um, I must say both my daughter and I are very happy with the outcome of this project everything is within reach she's so happy that she will she has more counter space or desk base for her study materials like for example her notebooks and her textbooks and even enough space for her picture frame and a flower arrangement there that I created from Dollar Tree materials as well as well as a desk lamp and they're all up against the wall and there's empty space on her study desk. I also love the fact that it looks so industrialized or industrial style and because of the gray tones or silver tone it really complements the color of her desk as you can see she chose the IKEA desk instead of white she chose the gray one I think gray is the new black <laughs> so it looks so sleek here and with her table or desk lamp it really matches and of course she likes sci-fi stuff that's why she has a BB-8 there she has Loki and so on and so forth so this type of organization is really ideal for small space and if you elevate or maybe use more racks and then just put them vertically stack them up on top of each other and that would even save you more space this is perfect for dorm rooms craft rooms home office you name it. I, actually, even if you have a big space, if you want to use this uh, technique, and it saves you a lot of money. So I hope I inspired you to do the same. If you want to watch the video on how we decorated her room, go ahead and do so. I'm adding the thumbnail here and linking it down below. And please watch my other videos in my other playlist as well. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoy this and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also click that bell so that you will not miss a beat. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye-bye!